Representative O'Rourke, this question is for you. It's about the national anthem protest. Uh, polls show that most Americans don't think that NFL players should be kneeling during the national anthem, even if they believe that they have the right to, to do so. Uh, but you have said there's nothing more American than protesting for your rights. What do you say to people who claim that you're out of step with most Texans on this issue? I mentioned just a minute ago, members of law enforcement are not sworn to serve and to protect only some people. They're sworn to protect and serve everyone in a given community. Those service members who put their lives on the line, who are serving tonight in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Syria, they swear not to a man or to a group of people in this country, but they swore to support and to defend the Constitution of the United States of America, the Constitution for all of us. The civil rights marchers who took their lives into their hands crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama, some beaten to within an inch of their lives, those who lost their lives in the Deep South to the racism of America at the time, those freedom riders who had the audacity to take Greyhound buses in the Deep South using the bathrooms or the water fountains of their choice, knowing full well that it would end, them, it would, it would end up in the Mississippi State Penitentiary parchment, as it did for John Lewis. They marched not just for themselves, but for everyone. And when now we have injustice in this country, Two sets of criminal justice systems, depending on your race, your ethnicity, and your color. That prison population that I talked about that is disproportionately comprised of people of color. Too many unarmed African-American men losing their lives in this country to peacefully protest that injustice nonviolently and to call attention to that, to prick the conscience of this country so that those in positions of public trust and power will finally do something. Standing up not just for your rights, but everyone's rights in this country, there's nothing more American than that. That's your time, Congressman. I'm going to have to ask again for the audience to please, please refrain from reacting and applause, okay? We need to get through a lot of questions here. Senator Cruz. You know, Congressman O'Rourke gave a long soliloquy on the civil rights movement. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons that I'm a Republican is because civil rights legislation was passed with the overwhelming support of Republicans. And indeed, the Dixiecrats who were imposing Jim Crow, the Dixiecrats who were beating those protesters were Democrats. And that's one of the reasons I'm proud to be a member of the party of Lincoln, a member that stands for equal rights for everyone, regardless of what race, what ethnicity, every human being is a creation of God that our Constitution protects. But nowhere in his answer did he address the fact that when you have people during the national anthem taking a knee, refusing to stand for the national anthem, that you're disrespecting the millions of veterans, the millions of soldiers and sailors and airmen and marines that risk and fight and die to protect that flag and to protect our liberty. And to be clear, everyone has a right to protest. You have a right to speak. But you could speak in a way that doesn't disrespect the flag, that doesn't disrespect the national anthem. And I'll tell you, those civil rights protesters would be astonished if the protests were manifesting and burning the flag. Dr. King, that's not something Dr. King stood for. He stood Senator for justice Cruz. without disrespecting the men and women who fight for this country. Senator, 